Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about a reading strategy called visualizing, or creating a picture in your mind of what is happening in the text. If we break down the term visualizing, you can see that the word visual is part of it, which should remind you of the word vision, or your ability to see things. Whenever you read a text, and that could mean a poem, a story, or an article, you should always be trying to use your imagination to create a picture in your mind of what's happening when you're reading. In order to do that, you have to imagine using your five senses as you read, and that's sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Your ultimate goal is to have these become so vivid and so clear in your mind that whenever you read, it's almost like watching a movie in your head. I'll show you what I mean by this with our first example. So for our first example with visualizing, all I want you to concentrate on is the sense of sight. So. As I read this poem, The Green Giant, just try to imagine as clearly as you can in your mind what this giant looks like. So here I go. The Green Giant. There lived a green giant whose name was Sam. His hair was the color of strawberry jam. He had one brown and one blue eye and a beard the color of pumpkin pie. His coat and pants were oh so bright, like a peppermint stick, all red and white. His socks were yellow as a lemon pop. His shoes were as brown as a chocolate drop. His hat was the color of gingerbread, with a tall, tall feather of strawberry red. So now what I want to do is go back and highlight the parts of this poem that show me a very clear picture in my mind of what this giant looks like. So, there lived a green giant. So I know that the giant is green. His hair is the color of strawberry jam, which I know is red. He had one brown eye and one blue eye. He has a beard the color of pumpkin pie, which is orange. His coat and pants were oh so bright, like a peppermint stick, all red and white. So he's wearing this red and white striped outfit. His socks were yellow as a lemon pop. His shoes are brown as a chocolate drop. His hat is the color of gingerbread, which is also brown, with a tall, tall feather sticking out of the hat of strawberry red. So at this point, why don't you pause the video, take a moment to draw the giant, and then when you come back, you can look at my beautiful drawing of him. So three, two, one, pause the video. Okay, now I'm going to draw this giant. So I know that he is green, and he is tall and all right so here we go he's got some green hands hmm all right he's going to be smiling and he has big green ears all right so green giant his hair is the color of strawberry jam strawberry jam is red so here goes the hair got spiky hair. Okay, he's one brown eye. One brown eye and one blue eye. Whoops. Mm, all right. One brown eye, one blue eye, and a beard the color of pumpkin pie, which is orange. So here we go. Here's his beard, the color of pumpkin pie. Okay, his coat and pants are red and white striped. So I have to draw a coat on him. All right, there's the coat. Okay, and red and white striped, and his pants are also red and white striped. 
Okay, his socks are yellow. Boom. Okay, his shoes are brown. Let's make that nice and big. Brown shoes. Okay, um, his hat is the color of gingerbread. There's his hat. And then he has a tall feather of strawberry red. Okay, so there's my glorious picture. I'm sure yours is more beautiful than mine.